Relatively recently, I did a video watching the Winx Club transformations. In that video too, I just had no predictions of what it was gonna be. But now for this video, at least I have some sort of idea of the overall vibe of the Winx Club. What are the songs gonna sound like? Well, that's anyone's guess, and anyone in that situation is not me. I'll roll with it. Honestly, given what I watched in that last video, I'm coming in with some decently high expectations. I also want to take this opportunity to acknowledge the fact that in response to one of the visuals of the transformations, I said, huh, they almost seem like fairies. Thanks to the comments and common sense after rewatching. I realized, um, <clears throat> They are. Before we start, I wanted to let you know that I upload some uncut versions of my reactions over on Patreon. You can also hear me swear, uncensored if that's your thing. The link is in the description below. You'll also find a link for my Discord server there you should join. I'm there a lot and it gets chaotic and weird in a good way, I think. Come hang and make some friends. I figured that the first song I listened to should be the theme song. It's called We Are Winx. We are the Winx, actually, I got that wrong. <laughs> it's right there, I can see it like in my periphery, but I still read it incorrectly. I hope it's the theme song. At least I, I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> oh, it's already so cute. Okay, I'm glad that I now feel correct because one of the reads that I had on this show was that a lot of it had to do with like inspiration and believing in yourself and faith and all that sort of thing. Almost like valuing yourself and making sure you're being your own hype man. Such a groove. Oh. That, that was not the change I was expecting. Cause there was that cool but strange strumming pattern. It had a really weird rhythm going on. And then we just <laughs> jumped over to a completely different genre. I didn't even really know what I'd call this. Although given the repetition, I know that my God, it is going to be catchy. And uh, I could, I just, Sorry, there are just songs where I can tell I'm gonna be singing it. I feel like you guys are single-handedly ruining my neighbor's lives because I'll just be walking around the apartment complex going like, we are the wings, we are the wings, we are the wings, we are the wings. <laughs> I love the soundscape, man. Oh, I like the extended notes to build up. It's like, oh, there's just something about listening to these things that just fills me with self-confidence. Like I said, I feel like that's the entire point. It's all empowering, but it still means that like, while it impacts people who watch the show, I get hype, I get excited. These fairies, and they are definitely fairies, are now hyping me up. I need them all around all the time. Magic is inside me. <laughs> just, just don't touch, the, why the hair? I mean, valid, like don't just go touching people's hair, but it's just, uh, I'm interested in why they specified that. Or like, is the hair the source of their powers? Don't touch the hair for, well, I was, you'll steal my powers or maybe you'll just die. <laughs> why am I, why am I going on about this? Do you know? <laughs> you will become well, very so bright. Oh, oh. I'm pretty sure this is the intro and the outro and this version is like extended so I was expecting a weird change suddenly. And her too. I still have no clue what each of them do. Whoa. Is that new layers? We are the weeks. But that was just... Uh, it's, uh. It's still just so freaking sweet, you know? Doing these videos just bums me out about the fact that I didn't watch this stuff as a kid. Maybe I would have turned out better if I did. <laughs> Dude, I still can't get over the groove of this guitar. <laughs> Stop, it's so cute. I'm dying. Oh, oh. I thought that was gonna end. It's so happy. I don't know why I did that. I just already loved that line. Should change it to my bio and everything. How's it gonna end? Is it gonna be? Oh, there you go. I was gonna say, is it sudden? 
It was indeed very sudden. Not that that's a complaint to be honest, but also it makes sense because it would have been around credits and like the start of the end of the show, so it's gonna be like, and now the show is happening. You know what's amazing to say? That was pretty much exactly what I was expecting. I never get to say that in videos. I'm always like, what the hell am I gonna be watching? I don't know, I, whoa, that's crazy. It's it took me off guard because I have no clue what I'm in for. But given the vibe of the transformations and how the show seems, yeah, that's pretty much what I would have expected for a theme song. And while it would be easy for me to interpret that to be like, oh, I'm so good at guessing that, oh, I'm the king of show, theme guessing. I think in reality, what is more likely is that the transformations and the show are really good at conveying their tone, but I will still chalk it up as a little tiny eensy weensy W for me. The next song is called Way of Sirenix. I'm a little confused because it says Winx Club season six, Blue Mix, Way of Sirenix. Damn, that's a bars. But I guess this is around a Blue Mix transformation. If I got that right, I'm a, I was, wow, I'm, the vibe I was going for was saying that I'm a god, but the first thing that was gonna come out of my mouth was I am a demon. <laughs> Should I be worried? Pop, hello? Well, right after I say that the theme song is what I was expecting, I get this, which, uh, no. In case you're wondering, no, I wouldn't have called this. This is like early 2000s pop, I love it. Okay, harmonies. What the shit? You know, I expect good quality songs, but but bangers, you know, okay, sure. It's big, it's hype, it's interesting, it's layered. It's got a cool sound and I'm here for it. And the way that that came in and hit so big, it's loud and in my face, hell yes. This is such cute animation as well. There's like such an intense and fun synth that's playing on, it's very like dancey. Oh, the slowdown. Oh my God, I love this section, what the hell? Oh my God, and the, I'm just, I need to rewind because I need to hear the way that they did that little, I don't even know, like slight beat skip or something. Ha, huh, it's the most replayed section. <laughs> Do I need to say anything else? That was, that was wonderful. I love that. I'm sure if I listened enough by this point, I could understand what they were each the fairy of. That's such a cool chorus. I would love a full version of this too, especially if there was that little verse bit. I'm just, <laughs> God damn y'all. This show is just one of those shows that makes me feel happy and excited about everything. I don't even know. I don't know how to deal with this. I feel like I'm re-experiencing childhood. <laughs> Honestly though, that feels like part of what my channel is, just hitting stop, rewinding and restarting my childhood. And I don't have a problem with that. You know, it's, it's wonderful and it makes me feel so giddy and happy, especially because I get to experience things like this. And that song that just played is one of those songs that just makes me really excited about listening to the next one because we've had a couple different styles around and I feel like I could keep getting surprised here. I hope so. This one says it's the special song 14, This Big World. That title Loki makes it feel like it could be sad or bittersweet. There's a place where I can go. Whoa. Every time I close my eyes. That started so deep pitched. And with the topic being like fairies, you generally expect higher pitch, sometimes airy vocals. But you all know me, I will always be ecstatic about being shown a range. Also, uh, it's really adorable that she has treble clefs on her doors. That's so cute. It's the place where you and I can this meet. does sound kind of sad. Where we can meet again. Just like birds in the sky. Wow. Simply carried by the wind. Okay, why are you making me feel like I want to start crying? Just like birds in the sky, simply carried by the wind. It feels like this song is about like drifting apart and like just hoping that you become reunited at some point. Are your fingers on the keys you're playing for me? Oh my god, what? Stop. 
and the, the, the minor chords, okay, okay. Well, we're getting more variety. Um, I wasn't ready for it because now I'm feeling emotions. You'll remember, you know, emotions, right? And it's hard to believe. Oh my God, is that? I hear you say be strong. Is that someone dead? Yo, what the fuck? Did her mum die or something? And her, what? Dad smashes the instruments? Well, this is dark and depressing. I hear you say be strong. Talk about trauma. So don't give up now. Everything's alright. First off. Loved that build and the giant swell. Oh, um, that gave me goosebumps. Loved how big and strong her voice got. Oh my god, absolute queen. And uh, yes, I was right. Depressing as shit. I'm dying over here. Oh. I didn't, I didn't mean, I didn't really mean to use that phrasing. I get to come every day. Oh my god. Is it the kind of thing where music means a lot to her because of all of this backstory? Oh, I don't know how to feel. Oh my god, that's beautiful runs. Oh, she's a little baby. So her mum played music too? Oh. I thought that the lyrics, this big world, like how they're in the title, would have been used kind of negatively. I don't know, like this world feels so huge because you're away or something like that. But she said, I feel so safe in the arms of this big world. Is there something to do with like embracing the scale and wonder of the world? The way I look, my love for life is a that gun. beat coming in is wonderful. Also, I didn't even mention the strings before. I need more of those. This is beautifully composed. I had you in my life. I know I can be I <laughs> Why do I keep picking to do videos that deal with sadness and loss? Again, I'm wearing some eyeliner, only a little bit this time, but I really hope I don't cry again. I won't give up now. Oh. Everything's alright. The extra vocal layers sound so good. This is bonkers. I don't even... I don't even know what to say. Okay, Winx. God damn. I can safely say I'm shocked. And here's the thing, too. With songs from cartoons like this, you can have songs that are quite sad, or at least have quite a sad sound, but I feel like often it's kind of on the surface. Like it has a sad composition, but maybe it's not that sad, or they can't dig too deep into the lyrics and the message because it's a kid's show or whatever. But that song just felt like someone poured their heart and soul into composing it and singing it with such emotion. I loved that it was fantastic and my God, was I not mentally prepared for something like that at all in this video. I thought it was all gonna be happy, boppy, upbeat, fun stuff. I wonder if we're keeping up the same emotions because this is called Return to Me. Is it sad too? Like, please come back. Under, underwater? Voice of I forgot that there were some 3D ones. I, I like her voice a lot. Me. I mean, this does sound sad. Okay, uh, like, if, if someone said, I close my eyes and you return to me, it sounds like you're on my mind and I'm imagining you and missing you because you're not here. <sighs> cool. Thank you, Winx Club, for just making me feel sad. You, you hyped me up and then smashed me in the face with emotion. No magic can make you reappear, but in the song Yo! <laughs> no magic can make you reappear. No, stop, because I, I literally started welling up a little bit, and I might. Mm, for f sake, dude, it's 
<laughs> videos have got to stop making me feel sad because the song itself is actually quite a bittersweet thing but you know if you've ever dealt with losing a loved one there is that sort of thing where like a lot of stuff can still remind you of them and you can be fine for the longest time and then just get hit and the weird thing about that is that it's not even necessarily all bad it's not just like oh my god I miss this person and it's so sad sometimes it can make you happy and that feels really strange like I talked about it in a very recent video but my grandmother died at the start of the year and there's a whole bunch of songs or even mannerisms that I see that just remind me of her and it's really weird because while it's sad to think that she's gone there's this sense of connection that comes with experiencing those things and recognizing that remembrance anyway sorry I really uh, veered that away from this song but it's just how it makes me feel and I'm sorry if I cry <laughs> go home to Melody Oh, we're cutting away. Oh my God, did, did she just say, Mama, you'd be so proud. I wish you could see me now. Okay, so I was completely right, I think then with my read. Oh my God, dude. What? <laughs> Even thinking about what I was saying before in relation to those lines, it's like, it feels like it's almost exactly about what I was saying. Because she's singing about how like, while I'll always notice your absence and that'll suck, I know that you'll return to me through the things that make me think of you. <sighs> My God, y'all. Well, this is cute as hell. Such a happy, sad song. It's so bittersweet. God damn you, Winx. <laughs> okay. Well, hmm. Cool. <laughs> I don't really think there's much else I could say for that song that I didn't already. Um, yep. I feel awkward. I don't know how to express myself like this. All I can say is I thought that was absolutely gorgeous and it struck a personal note for me. So let's move on to the last song for today. I am hoping it will be a bit more upbeat because I would love a happier note to end on. It's called Mumbo Chawumbo. So I'm already intrigued. You and me, the tropical breeze. Why do I feel like I'm gonna get crab rave? Forget about the rest today. I'm having fun. Where is this going? Friends. Let's dive into the ocean. Well, at least it is happier. Now I can feel no gravity. It okay. Really feels like fire. I'm, <laughs> I'm already bouncing to this. What more can you ask for? This is also very dancey. I see it in your eyes. Some people <laughs> this is cute as hell. Oh, this is so cute as well. Just singing about how good friends are, I think, as well. Maybe I misheard a lyric there, but it kind of sounded like the point was about how a lot of people search for something like this, this kind of paradise, I guess. But for whoever's singing, it's not that far because look who they're with. What is that? Yo, I love the vocal layers. Man, okay, well, this is exactly what I needed to just kind of cleanse my palate, cleanse my brain, feel happier. <laughs> it's sweet, it's unapologetically upbeat. Oh, don't cry, just send an SOS. It's kind of like, oh, I'll come help you. <laughs> That's what I need right now. SOS Wings Club, come get me. Oh, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was going to be a fake shark, and then I was like, no, that's actually a shark. Oh. You know, it would be really easy to write off a song like this as corny. And look, it is kind of corny, but that doesn't mean that it can't be really sweet, that it can't have substance, or that it can't bring a whole bunch of value to someone. <laughs> I thought she just vaporized his leaf. Why is it so hard to not just like move myself to this? I need to sit still. I immediately failed. 
bro, I want to hang out with these guys. It sounds so fun. God damn, this is cute. I'm loving this. Oh my god. <laughs> Did the crab just just jack his drink? Wow, they're adding a whole bunch of layers. It's kind of strange. Man, I feel like I've just had a giant smile this whole song. Whatever that is, it's adorable. I don't think you guys have any idea how happy I am that I put that as the last song. Because <laughs> if I ended on those other two songs, I don't know how I would have coped, man. That was exactly what I needed. It was so happy. I was loving it. It just made me feel so good. <laughs> I can honestly and wholeheartedly say that Winx Club has taken me on a damn roller coaster in this video and I would never have seen it coming. And at this point, I don't even know what more there is to say. I feel like that just about covers it, right? It was a Winx Club roller coaster. Thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time for the next roller coaster.